morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Hope you had a great weekend. Uh, we want to encourage all of our clients. We will not be doing this in our own trading this week, but we want to encourage all of our friends and clients to be very careful of your gold investing the next few days. Uh, you know, we think gold is uh, settling for another big up move, but in the meantime, we could see a downward draft even below, well below 1680 on the open today. We could go down below 1600, which would present an unprecedented buying opportunity. Um, but, you know, if you're a regular client of ours, just, you know, please just chill out this week on gold. Um, we are not changing any of our forecasts, but we encourage you to, to uh, you know, stay flat in your gold positions if you close them out over the weekend. Uh, we are much taken, I am much taken, uh, by uh, Joseph Stieglitz's commentary in Vanity Fair. Um, and you know that your correspondent, your faithful correspondent, is a tiny bit on the shallow side. So I have to admit that I actually read Vanity Fair. Um, and <clears throat> Stieglitz uh, writes an article in there that he covers uh, some points that, quite frankly, uh, I hadn't thought of. Uh, number one is that the lowering wages caused by our transition in, in our economy are causing a decrease in demand. Um, this relates to a point where they frequently make the other way. In other words, we frequently make the point that demand is down because people are up to the limits of their credit uh, capacities or are afraid to put more credit on. And part of the reason for this is that people are making less money. So it's not simply the problem that their credit facilities are tight. It's that they don't make enough money anymore to pay those facilities down. And then, of course, they have no confidence in, uh, in spending more money because their, their economic future is so uncertain. And <clears throat> these lo lowering wages are caused directly by the fact that our economy is transitioning from a manufacturing economy to a service sector economy. As you know, there was a time, and my uncles benefited from this, um, there was a time when essentially uneducated people could walk into manufacturing plants, learn extremely difficult skills, and get paid a, a reasonable wage, and, and, and in some cases a pretty terrific wage for learning to be specialized kind of machinists. And you could apprentice to somebody or you could know somebody, and as a consequence you'd be able to get a job. Um, <clears throat> those days are gone, and in Stieglitz's opinion, not only are not returning, but that we are really on the verge, unless we're very careful, uh, of a depression. And the reason for this is that um, this situation in our country is fraught with social and economic danger because people are not working. Uh, there are 6.6 6 million fewer jobs since Obama took office, or I should say since Bush began the debacle. Uh, and 23 million Americans cannot get a full-time job. So uh, real income, as a consequence of these things, and my first point, is now lower than it was in 1997. So if you factor in inflation, which nobody likes to talk about, Real wages for Americans are lower than uh, since 1997. So it's kind of a shocking fact that in 1996, if you were an average American family of four, you made more money than you do today. Now, Stieglitz points out that taken together with the European contraction and the Chinese contraction and our own economic difficulties, that we could be setting up the stage for a major depression. It is our view here at Waters Capital that we're really looking at a decade-long uh, period of, of great difficulty in the larger world and considerable difficulty in the United States. Um, but I, I'm really concerned about this point that 23 million Americans are unable to get full-time work. Uh, and as those kinds of numbers rise, remember our real unemployment rate is 16%. You know, in the height of the Depression, people were, you know, there was a lot higher unemployment rate than that, but it wasn't as much higher as you might think. So uh, we're asking our clients to be aware of these important trends uh, and aware of their significance. We want to remind you that Obama will walk. Uh, the Republicans 
are deluded to think otherwise. Um, I love the fact that Mitt Romney's true nature is being exposed. I love the fact that Gingrich is moving up and has taken such a strong position. Um, and it, this kind of uh, uh, foo among the Republicans is terrific for the Dem for, for President Obama's reelection. <clears throat> so as I am about to be beset by allergies, I wish all my friends and clients a great day, and thanks for listening. Aim for the ice flows. Look at the difficult things. Don't aim for the open water. Thanks.